Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're going to talk about in this video is uh, guest networks. So a lot of questions that I see with Unify have to do with how do I create like IoT rules or how do I create firewall rules that will segregate one network from the rest of my networks? We, the truth is, is if you just create it as a network type of um, guest and everything is, uh, you've got a, you know, a USG and, or a UDM, it's going to do this for you automatically. So if you've got Unify full stack, the quickest way to do it is just select it as guest. So let's take a look at that. So you can see I've got the new UI uh, enabled and we're going to go to networks and I'm going to show you this in the new UI and then I'm going to show it to you in the old UI. So you've got to kind of get used to the way that they do things, but uh, we're going to add a new network and network name up here is going to be guest network one. Router is going to be our UDM pro. Uh, we're going to go ahead. It, it just like had this suggestion of 192.168.3.1. We could leave it at that. But I think when we get down here to the manual, so it's automatically adding VLAN 6, which must be my next available VLAN tag. So I'm going to change this uh, to be 6.1. And you can see by, by default, it is a slash 24, which should give us 254 usable IPs. But by default, their IP range starts at dot .6. We're going to adjust that here in just a second. But the network type, what we're going to do is we're going to select guest network. And it's going to tell us, it's got this nice little um, information box that popped up that says the guest hotspot profile will automatically be applied to this guest network. Connected clients will be isolated from all other internal networks. So when you choose guest network on the wired, when you set up, so you got to remember Unify is, is doing all these things at once, right? It allows you to create a... Uh, layer 2 VLAN, it allows you to then create the layer 3 interface, the interfaces of that. It also allows you to create a Wi-Fi network. Uh, and Wi-Fi also has a guest setup. So what we're talking about here is specifically this network type on the wired side. We're going to get a, we're going to do another video on the guest for the Wi-Fi and the guest portal. Those are two totally different uh, topics. They work hand in hand. This stuff all works together. But for what we're doing, where we're applying these firewall rules uh, very easily, this is really where you need to do it. So we're going to select guest network there. We're not going to do any uh, content filtering. We're going to leave our internet uh, source IP the same. Down here, we can change our DHCP range to start at 2. So if we do that and then we go back up, you'll see now we have 253 usable IPs. Uh, we can enable multicast DNS. We can enable IGMP snooping. Now, if we're going to have some devices that require that, we could do that. We're, for now, we're just going to leave it blank, and we're not going to do any IP version 6. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add network. And now you can see we've got guest network here. It is uh, the 192.168.6 uh, network. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something you know that you've probably been... Um, waiting on is I'm going to go back, I'm going to go into system, I'm going to hit this enable legacy interface, I'm going to deactivate the new user interface. Maybe. There it goes. It gets grumpy when you start going between the new UI and the old UI. Alright, so here is the old UI. So now we're going to go into settings and we're going to go into networks and that six was that last one we added. You can see it's a guest network. It's a guest. We're going to create another one. We're going to call this guest network two. It's going to be a guest. It's going to be VLAN seven. 192.168.7.1. You know how I like that, that uh, symmetry. We're going to update that DHCP range. We're going to go here. We're going to go two. We're going to leave everything else as default. You can see that the options are pretty much the same here. They're just presented differently. So we're starting to get we're starting to get uh, like features um, all over the place. Now I don't expect this this old interface to last too much longer. 
but you can see now that we've got this. So what is happening with this guest network? Is both of these. Actually, you see I've got five too. So five, six, and seven, because these are guests on the wire. Any client that is in either of those VLANs is now segregated from any of the other corporate or guest networks that are on this unified deployment. It's really that easy. There's, you don't have to go build a bunch of crazy firewall rules. They're already built in. So if we go to routing and firewall, we can see that we've already got this guest in and this guest out and this guest local. And it is uh, right here. Here's the rule that's built in. Drop packets to re restricted, restricted subnets. Drop packets to intranet. Drop packets to remote uh, user. So you can see that those are already built and you don't have to do anything. And this, you're done. You're done. You created the network. You, you gave it guest. And as long as you're using a unified full stack, you can uh, move things. Even, even if you've just got, you know, USG, you can do this. Uh, but you have to make sure your VLAN settings between your switches and whatever switches you're using in your USG and your APs are all the same. It's super duper easy when it is, uh, you know, unify stack. So that, that's it. That's all you've got to do. And then we'll come back, we'll do a video on the wireless side and actually on the captive portal. But um, if you like this video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Uh, if you've got questions about this, ask the questions down below. I'll see if I can answer those. If you would like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon or using any of our affiliate links, everything is clearly marked down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. Once again, I'm Willie. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be with you as soon as possible. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you've got any questions or anything like that. Um, thank you again for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.